facing another potential client in Europe coming through. Uh, there just happens to be around. So this is the document. Hey, what's going on? I am watching some Gary V. That's what you see going on in the background. If you are serious about business, if you are entrepreneur minded, you absolutely need to be paying attention to Gary V because he knows what he's talking about and I'm someone who listens to him all the time. So I grab my coffee, I listen to Gary V and I get to work. I don't I don't watch him 100% of the day because I have other stuff I got to be doing and he doesn't want you to watch his videos every single second of the day. He wants you to be executing. So if you haven't heard about Gary V, make sure you check him out on YouTube. Gary Vaynerchuk, I'm telling you right now. Let me know what you think. Making a little breakfast snack, uh, some bagels, kind of burn them a little bit, but that's all right. And uh, yeah, some bagels. So breakfast, who do you have breakfast with? I have breakfast with Gary Vaynerchuk, V1 and only, Gary Vaynerchuk. Tell you right now, he is a mastermind and I absorb uh, his content, but most importantly, I execute on what he teaches. Again, I'm going to be a big promoter of Gary Vaynerchuk because I listen to him all the time and I think it's awesome. Is Lorenzo getting ready for the day? Yeah, I need clothes. Today, yeah. You, dress you, doing, dress. You, you don't want to look at what you're doing. That's, that's kind of dangerous. No, he's getting ready to, uh, we're all getting ready to go out, get some breakfast. Lunch. Our big brother, older brother, Frank, is getting married tomorrow. Man, let's get that's that, that's that old R&B, that real R&B. So, we're trying to get out of here. Um, I know you are, babe, and, and that's the only thing that saves her, is that she's beautiful. And uh, so I'm going to do what any good husband would do, and just sit the heck down and show that and, and wait until she's done. But we're almost done, so we can actually go get something to eat. It's like that hallway in the, in the agents. <laughs> what if you did that? You came out and you saw people like fighting like Neo style. <laughs> Wife's watching Secret Life of Pets. I'm joining her. Uh, but we're also working. So MintTorch, uh, originally in September of 2015 when we incorporated it, was a nonprofit organization. But to scale it as a tech company the way that we want to be able to scale it and for it to reach the, the size and be able to sustain itself, we're going to change it to a for-profit. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, and that's the next step in, in making the company become what we want it to become. Turn that down. See right here, if you've never seen this before, this is the State of Department, excuse me, the Department of the Secretary of State. Uh, Mintorch is in there, we're, we're a nonprofit, and we're gonna change it to for-profit. 
So if you want to have a business and, and make it official, it needs to go through your state's department of the Secretary of State, and, and that's where your paperwork's gonna be held. So Mentorcha was a distinguishable name in North Carolina, but we have to make sure it's a distinguishable name in Virginia too if we're gonna make it a business name in Virginia. So you go to your website, we you put in Mentorch right here, and then it says your name, Mentorch, core name, yes. This name is distinguishable on the records of the commission at this time, which means that people can tell that it's different from other businesses and other company names, so we can use it. Amazing. Um, we're not gonna have this In and Out Burger versus Five Guys bike though. But I, I love me some Five Guys, so I'm about to eat. Are we gonna go on a walk? This guy looks like a Leo. Walk? Leo. Are we going? Oh yeah, he's ready. Are we going? He's ready. Let's go. You ready? You ready to do this? Let's go. You're gonna breach. You're gonna breach. Hold on, not yet. The bad guys. Come on. Leo, sit. Don't let him sit. know before it's time to. Leo, sit. Good boy. Leo, breach. Breach. Good breach. Boy. Good. Good boy. podcast or you're dealing with the blog like a lot of that background of stuff is it's all planned out if you're being smart about it so you have a marketing schedule um, just yesterday a lot of what we did uh, centered around making sure that we were boosting certain posts so that people who were absolutely interested in what we're doing uh, we were targeting that so people who are interested in entrepreneurship people who are interested in business people who are interested in startup companies people who are interested in mentorship you get the picture um, those were the people that we were putting uh, what Mentorch is, is doing in, in front of them. And then right now you might have noticed, and I'm just going to be completely upfront with you guys, that Instagram, we kind of stopped a little bit uh, putting content on there, but that's getting started up again. And again, it takes a lot of work um, in order to make sure that you have a strong and consistent social media <clears throat> marketing schedule. You have to find good pictures. You have to make sure it's branded for your company. You have to make sure at all times you are not putting out material that's copywritten because then later down the road, um, your integrity is already threatened at that point and now you have to deal with a headache uh, that you weren't trying to deal with in the first place. So credibility is huge and then this is stuff that we learned from the time that we were in school. Don't take other people's work um, unless they allow you to and you, and you give them credit. So that's what we're doing now. Um, I know people are gonna have questions for what goes on in the background of a business and, and I'm taking the play right out of Gary Vaynerchuk's uh, playbook is is to show the journey while you're doing it so that's what we're doing it's really exciting because uh, Pass the Torch podcast we haven't done an episode um, and while I think the last one we did was with my twin brother Lorenzo um, in January. So really excited to get it back up off the ground. 
we're going to do uh, an episode on uh, May 3rd. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be awesome with Jacqueline Steele. And that's all I'm going to tell you. Um, I want you to tune in for it. it it's going to be great. Um, definitely excited. So we're getting past the Torch Podcast back off the ground. We have some great guests lined up. So make sure that you stay tuned. get our meetup back off the ground we have one in uh, Jacksonville a few weeks ago we had one in uh, Wilmington so these are becoming a normal thing and I think on May 6th there's actually a, there's a meetup in, in Oceanside California so we have them clear across the country uh, on the East Coast and we're just organizing these meetings so that people can get together if they're motivated about personal development mentorship, talk about business, talk about their lives, and, and do it with the community uh, around them. And meetup's an awesome thing that uh, I'm always talking about, and that's what we use to facilitate these get-togethers. So we're, we're headed there right now. Here's the reality. Uh, sometimes when you <laughs> create a meetup, you're the only one who shows up, and and that's just part of it. But uh, we've had meetups where people have shown up, and this is one where they don't. But you got to stay with it. You got to keep grinding, and the next time, who knows? Maybe five people will show up, and then the next time, more people show up. So you got to stay with it, and and don't just get discouraged the first time. Um, because you don't get the results you want. You gotta stick with it. And uh, sometimes when no one else shows up to your meetup, it turns into a date night, so. Yeah. <laughs> So we're at uh, Old Arena Lanes for our, our meetup. It's actually pretty cool. I haven't been bowling in a while. My wife is probably gonna be bowling. Okay, so this has got to be the coolest birthday cake ever. Uh, never too old to have a green themed cake with a tank on it. <laughs> two eight, not the battalion. That's how old I am. Even though it's a badass battalion. Love those guys. Twenty eight. That's crazy. It's my birthday, but uh, when your birthday falls on a Thursday, you gotta go to work the next day. So. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. But it's good. I get to go to the pistol range, so I'm excited. Love the pistol range. Any day you get paid to, to shoot's a good day. So as you can tell, I'm tired. So I'm gonna eat some cake. Because I came here for the cake. And I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> 